I've been a work from home mom for eight years now and over that time I've learned a lot of tips and tricks to make sure that I am more successful as a work from home mom and to also make sure that my family's needs are met and that I'm not neglecting anyone or anything that needs to be done around the house. Now, I'm not very good at this sometimes and I definitely get behind on laundry. I get behind on house cleaning. Those things just happen, but um, these tips have definitely helped me to be more successful when I follow them. So <laughs> let's get into it. Let me share with you four tips for being a successful work from home mom. Number one, have a routine. Now, this might seem a little bit basic, but I promise you that having a morning and evening routine is going to change your life. It does for me. There are days that I skip my morning or evening routine and it seriously throws me off for days. It takes me forever to get caught up. So when I'm talking about morning or evening routine, I'm talking about the routine that you do every morning and every evening that helps keep your house in order, helps keep the house tidy, the laundry moving, the dishes done, keeps you centered and focused because maybe it involves doing like yoga or exercising or reading your scriptures or having quiet meditation time. Um, this is what that routine is gonna include. You can find ideas for different routines on YouTube just by searching morning and evening routine. Um, you can Google it. The morning and evening routine is revolutionary for me. Number two have don't work hours. So I know a lot of people swear by office hours. Personally, it has never worked for me and most of the moms that work from home that I've talked to have said the same thing. Office hours don't work when you're a work from home mom because you have kids and they have sporadic needs and things are going to be working against you, conspiring against you every time you try to say, it's my office hours, I have to be focused on work. I have found to work very effectively is to have don't work hours. So for me, that is from the moment I wake up until about 10, 10.30, changes from day to day, depending on how much I have to do around the house. Um, but typically it's around 10 or 10.30. Those are don't work hours in the morning. And after three, when I pick up the kids from school, 3, 3.30, I don't work until they go to bed around eight. So that leaves the middle part of the day and after the kids are in bed for me to work. And this has seriously changed everything for me. It means that during the don't work hours, I'm not working. I don't feel guilty because I'm focused on my family. I'm focused on the housework. I'm focused on the things that have to happen every day that keep our household moving and help me feel like a fulfilled homemaker and mother, which is important to me personally, to feel like I'm really doing a good job in those areas. It leaves those hours for me to work as I can, um, but I don't feel pressured to be like, oh my gosh, this is my work hours that I'm not working. Um, and so obviously you have to have dedicated time that you're going to work, um, but having the don't work hours really builds that time in for you. So you know in the middle of the day I can get my work done or after the kids are in bed I can get my work done. And it just makes you feel a lot better about things. I have really been employing this for the last several years and it's been huge for me. Okay, number three. This is another work from home mom tip and it works for every mom, it works for every person, whether you have kids, whether you work from home, you work in an office, it's something that I think everybody should be doing, meal plan. Now, I'm not very good at meal planning sometimes, but when I meal plan, I am more efficient with my work, I'm more focused on my kids when I'm with them, and all around we're a healthier family, we spend less money on eating out, that kind of thing. Meal planning is going to help you so much because if you've spent the whole day tending to the kids' needs and then working, you don't have to be like, oh shoot, now I have to make dinner. <laughs> Which is so frustrating to realize at the end of the day that you didn't even think about dinner because you were so distracted by all the other demands on your time. So, meal plan. The last tip I have for you, number four, is to recharge your batteries. So, take time to get out of the house. When you work from home and you're a busy mom, it begins to feel like the walls are closing in on you because your work is staring you in the face, your housework is staring you in the face, your children are staring you in the face, and it just begins to feel like everything that is putting pressure on you is staring you in the face. <laughs> it's a terrible feeling to have that overwhelming sense of urgency everywhere you look. And um, I know how that goes. I deal with it all the time. And um, 
the, the nice thing is that if you're doing routines, you're meal planning, you're having your don't work hours and maintaining them, hopefully this feeling that is a little bit stressful and overwhelming at times will be less severe. Um, but just know that if you take time to recharge your batteries, you will not regret it. You need to have a weekend just like normal working people. Now for me, I typically um, try not to work on Saturdays. A lot of work from home moms have to work on Saturdays. So um, my personal choice is to take Saturday off when I can. If I can't, I take Monday off. So I get Sunday and Monday or Saturday and Sunday and have that two day weekend. Um, and if you can't take two days in consecutive order, then break it up. Maybe take Wednesday off and Sunday off or make your weekend be something different. But take time off. Don't forget that you are a person, a mother, a woman who has hobbies and interests and desires that need to be taken care of too. You need to take care of yourself. And being a work from home mom can be something where it's very easy to neglect those needs and to neglect yourself because you are so focused on being successful and you're so focused on meeting your goals and taking care of all the needs of everything and everybody. And so take care of yourself. Something that I really highly recommend um, when it comes to taking care of yourself and taking time out to recharge is to connect with other work at home moms. No one else gets your position in life like other work at home moms. Now, you may live in an area like me where I live. I don't know a lot of other work at home moms. It's hard for me to connect with other women that work from home, but there are people that you can connect with on Facebook. Um, you can do Zoom, which is like live video chats. Um, I do that with other us born consultants when I just need to visit with a woman, but I also need to get work done. I'll turn on Zoom and we video chat together and we're all working at the same time. And it's kind of nice. It's kind of like being in an office and working. Sometimes you just need that adult interaction and that little um, refresher that you are a person with thoughts that don't involve Thomas the Train and what kind of snack you're having that day. So um, I just highly encourage you to take the time out to recharge your batteries. All right, I hope these four tips were helpful for you. Throw the thumbs up, like it, comment, subscribe. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.